My name is Pamela. I work in the alumni services team and I'm going to show you a favorite that my mom used to do around the holidays. It is what we called um, toffee, but it's just um, saltine crackers, butter, brown sugar, and chocolate chips. Very easy, very quick. So we're just going to melt a cup of brown or a butter, sorry, and then a cup of brown sugar. And this is going to make kind of like a like a syrupy topping. You could also put um, nuts on this if you wanted to. This might take a while because my butter is really cold. So to make it go faster, pull your butter out early and let it sit to room temperature. After we have that melted, we're gonna pour it over the saltine crackers we're going to bake it for five minutes, just five minutes at 400. And then when it comes out, we'll sprinkle the chocolate chips on it. It'll melt, we'll spread it, and it'll be delicious. Then you'll put it in the fridge and let it get hard, kind of crispy. And it will be yummy. And we'll show you our end result in a minute. So we're almost done with the melting of the butter. Get all the lumps out. So we're just gonna pour, this is one whole sleeve of saltines. Oh, we got a little chunk there. And take your frosting spreader. Whoopsies. So it doesn't, they don't have to be exactly on top of each other because they'll get so sticky and stuck together. You'll end up breaking them off to serve them anyway. This is kind of, um, <laughs> I think a 70s classic. I think anyone around my age might be familiar with this. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven for five minutes on 400. So we're out of the oven, <laughs> bubbly and delicious. And try to get your chocolate chips off. Once they cool off, they'll be yummy. You can put them in the fridge, like I said, to get them nice and crisp. And then you just tear it off like toffee. It is buttery, sugary goodness. And the salt on the saltines adds a little bit of spice. Perfect sweet and salty. So here's our finished product, our taffy, our toffee. I sprinkled a little bit of crushed pecans on top just to make it look a little nicer. Don't forget to use your parchment paper on the tray when you put it in the oven just to make sure that it doesn't stick to your pan. It makes it easier to get it off. And then um, chill it so that it's crispy and hard. And enjoy!